Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. If you've been a fan of ours for a while, you'd know that we have a plethora of Top 10 videos in the mythology genre. And out of all these topics we've discussed, we've yet to tackle one of the most basic. What are the Top 10 Scariest Witches of Mythology? From Slavic to Celtic to Welsh and Russian, we'll try to cover a little from each of the mythologies. Number 10. Kikimora It's unlikely that you've heard of this witch from Slavic mythology. They were more of a house spirit, a type of invasion in a house that haunts those who dwell there. According to legend, they hide behind the stove or in the cellar and make mouse-like noises to get food. These types of spirits would often take the blame for sleep paralysis in Russian folklore, something that hadn't yet been studied. In myths, Kikimora comes in through the keyhole, sits on your chest, and tries to strangle you as you sleep. Whenever someone wanted to curse a home, they would call upon a Kikimora to vandalize their homes by breaking dishes, leaving wet, muddy footprints, and other mischievous activities. Number 9. Erikto. Throwing it back to Roman times, we have Erikto, a Thessalian witch who pops up in many different forms in literature. She's uglier than anything you've ever seen, and is written about in many different literary works. In one, she finds a cadaver, fills it with potions, and raises it from the dead. She lives in a cemetery, refusing to live in a normal way. She's unkempt and refuses to talk to normal people, only the dead, or take part in any social norms. According to legend, she was responsible for carrying out any heinous acts that Lucan wanted her to, a Roman poet who lived around 50 BC. Number 8. Trivia No, it's not the fun game you like to play with friends. Trivia is actually a Roman witch. Well, actually a goddess. She was the goddess of sorcery and witchcraft, and was known to haunt crossroads and graveyards, which is very well where we might get all of these images from nowadays. According to the legend, she was stealthy, only traveling at night. In fact, you'd only know she was around because of the barking of dogs. She is also mentioned as the Queen of Ghosts, Goddess of the Mist, and the force which hides all mythological happenings from the eyes of mortals. This is actually where the word trivia comes from in modern times. It refers to having knowledge of unknown information. Number 7. Circe Seen in Homer's Odyssey, Circe was a beautiful witch goddess with her own island, named entirely with vowels, Iia. One of her favorite things was to turn passing sailors into animals. She also turned Kalhas, the king of a nearby kingdom, insane after he fell in love with her and she didn't reserve the same feelings. When Odysseus visited the island, Circe turned his men into pigs. Odysseus was spared only because of a plant the gods gave him that left him invulnerable to her spell. When Odysseus decided he wanted to be the only mortal to ever visit the underworld, Circe helped him. In the end, they all ended up great friends. Number 6. Morgan Le Fay. From the legends of King Arthur comes Morgan Le Fay, a witch associated with both war and death, and also fertility. An odd combination, you might think, but everyone needs a dark side and an approachable side. In the 12th century, she appears in Christian de Troyes' works as a good witch and a healer. Then in King Arthur, she's Ruthless, the lover and apprentice of Merlin, who shapeshifts into monsters, queens, fairies, and mermaids to manipulate humans. Number 5. Baba Yaga This Russian witch is both scary and amazing. How, you ask? Well, she looks like your stereotypical witch, for starters. She has iron teeth, a long nose. She lives on the edge of the forest in a hut that moves by itself with chicken legs. So far, this fits pretty well into a storybook. Unlike other witches, though, Baba Yaga rides around in a huge mortar which she pushes with a pestle, like a boat. She does use a broom, but not for riding. Instead, sweeping away the tracks she leaves behind. If you run into her, it's a coin toss whether she'll help you or not. If you're a bad person, she'll likely deliver the karma that's been waiting for you. If you're a good person, well, she might just leave you alone or help you find your way in the lonely dark forest. 
Number 4. The Grey. In Greek mythology, the Grey, also known as the Grey Sisters, were three sisters who shared one eye and one tooth among them. They were daughters of the sea deities Phorces and Ceto, and sisters to the Gorgons, one of which was Medusa. In legend, the hero Perseus forced the Grey Sisters to tell him the whereabouts of the three objects necessary to kill Medusa by ransoming their shared eye. They were malevolent, not caring about anyone but themselves. They also had knowledge of the unknown and fate, but they had no control over it. Number 3. Raven Mocker This evil spirit comes from the Cherokee traditions and is said to rob the sick and dying of their heart. They torment and kill their victims without leaving any mark and are often invisible, adding a year to their own life for every one their victim would have lived. If you hear a raven mocker, says the legend, someone in the community will die. The fear is so strong that medicine men often keep watch of the sick and dying to keep raven mockers from attacking them. Number 2. Hecate In Greek mythology, Hecate was the goddess of witchcraft, the goddess of witches, sorcery, poisonous plants, ghosts, the moon, death, necromancy, and a plethora of other witchy activities. She was the daughter of Perses, and one of her other names, Chthonia, translates to of the underworld. So what makes her so fearsome? To those who still practice Hellenistic polytheism, she is not to be feared, but she is capable of both good and evil. Number 1. The Bell Witch The Bell Witch is a legend that originated in Tennessee and is perhaps the most well-known witch from the United States. She originally showed up in 1817 on John Bell's property, a 300-acre ranch in Adams, Tennessee. It started simple, with knocking on doors and hands slapping the walls. Soon after, blankets would be pulled off of beds, family members' hair would be pulled, and they'd be pinched and slapped to the point of receiving bruises. She vowed to kill John Bell at all cost, and when he did pass away in 1820, she seemed to quiet down a lot. Thanks for watching. Think you could be bewitched by any of these infamous characters? Let us know in the comments. You can magically receive notifications about new videos from Top 10 Archive simply by subscribing and clicking the bell. And we'd appreciate a thumbs up.